Good morning guys. Mobile Giza here and today I'm back with this month's installment of Oldie But Goodie, Kinda Like Me. That's the series where I take an old phone and uh, pull it out and let you guys know how it's doing today. Let's do this! Today we're going to do the Nokia 6.1. Of course, that's a mid-ranger, and it was originally released on May 6, 2018. So it's a little more than four years old at the moment. So uh, it's a, it was an Android One phone, which means it was meant to be a mid-ranger to be pure Android and at the time I really loved the phone um, I don't remember how much it was I think it was about $400 at the time I did see that right now you can still find it out there online looking in different places from anywhere it's from about a hundred dollars to two hundred and fifty dollars it's got a 5.5 inch screen it's an aluminum back and aluminum frame. It's a Qualcomm Snapdragon 630 chipset. So very, very mid-range. Uh, it's running Android 10. It's not going to come off of that at all. And it's got the April 1st, 2021 security update, which will be the last update it will ever get, I'm sure. It has two SIMs, and you can have both the two SIMs or a SIM and an SD card. And of course, it's 4G. There was no 5G back then. Um, it does use Zeiss optics, and the camera's pretty basic. It has a uh, 16 megapixel rear camera that'll shoot at 1080p 30 frames per second and 4k 30 frames per second front camera 8 megapixel 1080p 30 frames per second which is what we're on right now it's got a 3000 milliamp battery and uh, we're going to take it to the park shoot a little video on the rear cameras and um, shoot a few photos so, stick with me guys, and uh, thanks for watching these videos of these old devices. Seems like everybody's enjoying them. And uh, when I did the Nokia 9 Pure View, I said I would recommend against getting it. I don't think that's the case here. If you could find this thing for 100, 125, 150, it's still worth it, especially if all you need is a mid-ranger or you want it for a kid. This is still a pretty good phone, I think. But uh, don't look for any outstanding camera features. Although I think picture-wise is probably, I mean, video-wise, is probably better than the Nokia 9 Pure View. So, just wanted to show you guys. This old device, camera-wise, does have a few tricks up its sleeve. It'll shoot in uh, PIP, picture in picture mode. So, I want to make sure I showed you guys that. And now we're shooting in dual mode, which I think is pretty good for a mid range phone from 2018. So, looking at the screen, it looks very clear, kind of bright. I can tell more when I get it home, of course. But anyway, just wanted you guys see that it did have these few features that I think are probably kind of cool. So we'll continue on to the park and do some more shooting on the rear cameras. So now we're out here in the park shooting on the rear cameras and of course this is at 1080p 
30 frames per second. And uh, we'll try a little zooming in here. not telling me how far we're zooming in. I'm guessing this is about 10 times zoom. As you can see all the way up it distorts quite a bit. As you pull it back of course it gets much cleaner. So, walking around a little bit. You guys let me know how everything looks and sounds. Should we go over and do our focus test? Yeah, why not? As you can hear, the cicadas are still out here. Let's see how we focus. Quick enough, I guess. Gotta say, this little phone is pretty nice for a, a fairly inexpensive mid-ranger. So, I'm going to stop and set it to 4K, 30 frames per second, and let you guys see what that looks like. So, here we are shooting at 4K. 30 frames per second, which is the only other video mode the rear camera has. I'll let you see what that looks like. Try running a little bit, see how the stability is. And we're over here by the creek as usual. Pan around like I usually do. Obviously they haven't cut any of this stuff down since I was here last. It was becoming a real jungle out here. Usually they do a good job of keeping this place neat. So I have to believe they probably have a shortage of workers like so many other places do. So let's take it over by the ducks. So still shooting in 4K. 30 frames per second. Sorry about the noise, I'm fairly close to the street. Let's zoom in in 4K. Like I said, I'm guessing this is 10 times zoom. I'll check that and let you know later. As you can see, it distorts quite a bit. Zoom back out. So I'm going to take a few pictures and then we'll be done with this part of shooting. And then tonight we'll go over some of the other features.
Well, I got home and I realized I didn't really have to show you anything because I'd pretty much done all the features of the camera and showed you what it could do. So I thought I'd just show you the Nokia 6.1 and uh, I've always thought it was kind of a lovely phone and uh, it's small, of course. Remember, it is more than four years old and it has a rear fingerprint sensor, which is pretty quick. And of course, it being a mid-range, it still has the slight hesitation as you get with all mid-ranges when you touch the fingerprint scanner, take a picture. But I think for a four-year-old mid-ranger that you can get pretty cheap nowadays, this is still a pretty good phone. So, that's this month's installment of Oldie But Goodie, Kinda Like Me, and it's the Nokia 6.1. And as always, comments are welcome, and thanks for watching. Oh, and by the way, we all do better when we love each other.